and you know, even if you take, for example, the byproduct uh, butamine, which comes from um, the refinery, you know, we could have been making use of that to reduce the cost of making our roads. You know, an infrastructure project which is going to consume millions and millions of uh, of, of quatches. So, you know, we need to embrace these new ideas which every country is trying to put in place for the purpose of trying to make it easier for the citizens, um, you know, in helping them to cut costs and live a little bit, uh, uh, you know, good and meaningful lives. You know, because right now if you compare the, the, the GDP or economic growth to the livelihoods that we're living, they're totally different. But these are some of the ideas that can try and uh, uh, start um, bridging that gap. So I think it would be important that, uh, you know, ZESCO uh, looks at this uh, smart metering, looks at the use of, uh, of, 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 of gas. I mean, they have invested, uh, you know, a couple of million dollars in, in, in buying uh, uh, energy bulbs, energy saving bulbs. I think they can do that. And, and if I'm not mistaken, this project was supposed to start in 2008 and the pilot project was going to be Livingstone. But uh, I think due to political changes, uh, this matter died down. But I'm sure that uh, it is something that uh, Teddy and myself will be trying to engage ZESCO uh, uh, to find out whether it could be something that could be resuscitated. Okay. Of how they quantify the units here, but if we were to break it down, you find that the most consuming appliances that you have are your stove and your geyser. Now, if we can bring in gas energy and your stove is gas-powered and your geyser is gas-powered,